Prince Harry shamed for leaving nothing behind, Duke's fresh star torn apart. Prince Harry has renounced none of the trappings of privilege, a commentator has claimed in a scathing attack to the Duke of Sussex's new life. Prince Harry's move to California and his decision to step down as a full-time working royal has been mocked as one hugely delayed act of teenage rebellion by commentator Sarah Vine. The writer argued the Duke of Sussex has tried to shake off his privileged background. With this move, she claimed, the prince may believe he will be able to embrace a more authentic experience in America, one that, ultimately, will make him a better human being. However, M's Vine accused the Duke of Sussex of having renounced none of his royal privileges. Instead, she said, he has cashed in on them. She wrote, in truth, he's left behind none of the trappings of privilege. And the authenticity is just a veneer. The reality is he's leveraged every last ounce of his status to the maximum, using it to obtain lucrative contracts with Netflix, Spotify and others. He lives in a home as lavish as any he grew up in and he still rubs shoulders with royalty, albeit of the Hollywood kind, all while expecting us to think he's somehow keeping it real. The joy of the old Harry is that he was never that self-conscious wannabe pretending to be something he wasn't. Yes, he was a honking Sloan and a bit of a prat at times, but he was at least unselfconsciously himself, and that is why we loved him so much, for all his faults. This fellow on the beach, I've no idea who he is. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle officially stood down as full-time working royals in late March last year. By doing so, they renounced to represent the crown, used the word royal for their new ventures, which implied giving up their brand Sussex Royal, and their royal and military patronages. While they were not stripped of their titles, they were also asked not to use their HRH styles. In turn, they gained the freedom to live abroad and, as they are no longer receiving taxpayer money through the sovereign grant, pursue financially profitable ventures. Over the past 12 months, they have become financially independent by striking deals with Netflix and Spotify, which will see them become producers of TV programs and podcasts. Moreover, both Meghan and Harry have stepped into the world of startups. In late 2020, the Duchess of Sussex invested an undisclosed sum in the instant latte firm Clever Blends. In March, mental health and coaching company BetterUp announced Prince Harry as their new hire. The Duke of Sussex, the fast-growing firm said, was appointed chief impact officer. In late 2020, Meghan and Harry also launched their new not-for-profit organization. Arch Ewell Foundation. Both on their new jobs and when introduced on virtual summits or op eds, they have penned. Meghan and Harry have suggested it is their intention to continue to use their royal titles. This has sparked the criticism of some royal watchers, who have accused the couple of trying to gain from their royal links. Royal author Phil Dampier told the Daily Telegraph earlier this year It's obvious Harry and Meghan are not coming back, and have very much made their life in America. So the best thing for all is for a line to be drawn. I think they should volunteer to renounce, or at least not use, their ducal titles, so they face no further criticism of cashing in.